Hey guys, Don here. Welcome to the beer review. Happy Thanksgiving weekend. And yeah, so we're gonna have some turkey, gonna have some beers, then yeah, stuff like that. Today we're looking at something just landed here in New Brunswick, obviously. A lot of stuff that's coming through. And yes, I'm in my squeaky chair. And we're looking at Javert, Jever. I'm not sure if another Pilsner. Frisius Herb, uh, imported from Germany. Um, water, barley malt, hop extract, and hop hops. Brewed in strict accordance with the German purity law. Doesn't say if it's the other, you know. Uh, ported by Raven Import Company in Brooklyn, New York. Brewed in can in Germany. It says Puerto Rico. Please don't litter. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to saw that good stuff. This is a 4.9 percent uh, alcohol by volume. One U.S. pint. So yeah, I don't know what exactly is a fresh, 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 three such herb. Like I said, I usually don't look a lot of the stuff because I probably should. You know, maybe I'll start doing that in the future. Anyways, uh. Yeah. And I'm going to be having it out of a new glass. Earl's Albano Rhino Ale. Which apparently they're not allowed to make anymore. Really cool glass. I just saw I got a Value Village here. I think it was a dollar. Uh, yeah. Jeez, I'm looking stuff all over it. I'm carrying it around here making dinner. I just made it over here. <laughs> Jeez. Anyways, yeah. Bottoms up. Rhino wires on it. Anyways, that was cool. And it's, they've since been uh, discontinued making it because apparently uh, some actual albinos sued or something along those lines and said, yeah, it's, you know, offensive to them. So, but, you know, as the albino Rod Beer Review knows, he's pretty, you know, he likes it. And he's not at all offended by it. So yeah, white head, lots of bubbles. He's really, really see-through. Very light, light yellow. Uh, fair amount of carbonation. Jeez. Anyways, guys, give it a smell. Yeah, a little hoppy. A little citrusy kind of smell going. Uh, a little dusty kind of uh, earthy smell coming off it. Yeah. Cheers. Let's go to the taste. It's almost like uh, yeah, it's got a like earthy, dusty kind of a light, light orange lemon taste in the back. It's not over, it's not crisp, it's just kind of, you know, the beer's, the beer's kind of dull in general, I guess. There's nothing really sticks out. And the, uh, yeah, the dustiness and the, uh, it's not, yeah, not really the greatest for me. Well, I'm not really, yeah. I'm not a big Pilsner fan anyways. Ah, uh, you guys know that. Uh, it has a, yeah, it has a bitter, dusty kind of a taste going on the back of the tongue. Nothing special. I don't know. I can honestly say that I wouldn't buy it again. You know, it was nice to try it besides that, but... Yeah, it's nothing I... I don't think I'd even drink it again. I think it was probably given to me, so... Uh, I'll give it a 2.25. I'm not going to pass it. It's just... It's nothing special, and it's... Yeah. Just barely okay at that. Anyways, guys, cheers. We'll get some more, gum, more reviews up today for you, and talk to you in a bit. Bye.